What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. So as you guys know, about a year ago, I painted my Civic over there. Let me zoom in a little bit. I painted it Sunrise Red, Rust-Oleum. So now I'm thinking of going with the gloss leather brown. So what I'm gonna do is take a fender off and get it painted brown, just to see what it looks like. If it looks good, then we'll proceed to paint the whole car. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so the fender is off. And yes, this is also a Rust-Oleum paint job that's on this. It is kind of dirty, but you guys can see that it is still shiny under there. This is a year old. And this is what it looks like. It still has gloss and everything. The only reason why I want to change the color is because I've never seen a brown Rust-Oleum Civic. I've looked online, I've looked all over the place. Nobody's done it. It is kind of a unique color, very unique, since nobody really has it. And I think I'm gonna go ahead, spray the fender, and if it looks great, we'll put it on. If it doesn't, I'll repaint it to red. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash it, get some soap, make sure it's really clean. Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and scuff it with a Scotch-Brite. I am gonna remove this guy. I want this guy to be like a flat black. And to remove that guy, all it has is two little plastic things right here. And they just come off pretty easy. All right, so I have some regular soap house detergent for washing dishes and let's go ahead and hose this fender down Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some Scotch-Brite and I'm going to go ahead and start scuffing everything down. The whole thing. And then we are going to go ahead and dry it up and be ready for paint. All right, so I completely scuffed it and it's still wet. I'm gonna get some paper towels. I'm gonna dry it. Then I'm gonna take some of this paint thinner. I'm gonna put it on the paper towel and I'm gonna wipe the whole fender down.
All right, so I got the whole thing wiped down. Like I said, I used this stuff, some paint thinner, mineral spirits. Just wipe everything down. Everything looks like it's dry. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a can to do this job. If it turns out good, then I'll go ahead and use the regular gun to get it sprayed correctly, the right way. But this is just gonna be a test to see what the thunder looks like afterwards. This is the can that I'm gonna be using, Rosoleum. Gloss Leather Brown. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So what I'm gonna do is for my first coat, I'm just gonna mist it. I'm gonna do all these little crevices. Very, very lightly, just to get the surface tacky. Now I'm gonna go ahead and come over here. And just stripe it up a little bit. In different spots. That's all you want. Now you're gonna give it about five minutes five I would say ten minutes give it ten minutes for all that to get nice and sticky and you go ahead with the second coat so we went ahead and we switched locations from here into over here because there's a lot of little particles in the air flying around so we're gonna go ahead and give this a second coat. For the second coat, we just wanna lay it not too heavy, but not too light either. So basically, so you can start seeing some color change. There's a fly in here, a mosquito. All right, so let's go ahead and get this color change going, and then we'll come back and lay our third coat. Remember, do all your edges first. All right, after you have all your edges, you go ahead and you start to lay it down. Just go full strokes all the way across. If you miss a spot, don't worry, you could always come back.
you guys can see that it's starting to get some shine to it it looks like it has orange peel but once I lay my third coat that orange peel will start to disappear because by the third coat is gonna be super heavy and that's really what's gonna bring in the gloss all right I'm ready for the last coat I'm gonna pull this fender out and put it back over here where it was and give it the last coat since this is the final coat you want to make sure it's nice and heavy because whatever this fender looks like when it's wet that's what it's going to look like once it dries up So here it is. This is a really, really thick coat that I put on here. It's not bad for being out of a can. I got a little bug right here. I'm gonna try to pull him out. So I'm gonna throw this back in the shed to dry and then we'll take a look at what it looks like. All right guys, so here's the fender, completely dry. I painted the little strip right here, flat black. What do you guys think? Should I do the whole Civic this color or paint it back to red? Let me know in the comments below. We walk around on this side. So you guys tell me, should I paint it? this color or should I go ahead and paint it back to red so catch you guys on the next video till then peace